Hi, my name is Dennis, and today I'm going to show you how to separate water and ethanol using salts. So here we have 250 milliliters of water, and this is with a volumetric flask, so it's exactly 250 milliliters of water and 250 milliliters of ethanol. So we're going to pour these into our graduated cylinder. As you can see we put in exactly 500 milliliters and as the two mix together because they are completely miscible liquids they will the volume will actually decrease and that's due to the water and ethanol mixing so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of food coloring just so we can see the separation process occur when we add the salt so we'll add five drops of the food coloring As we can see, we have a consistent liquid where the food coloring is dispersed evenly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add 15 grams of potassium carbonate, which is just a simple salt. And what this will do is separate the ethanol and water. So first we have to shake it up to get the potassium carbonate to mix in with the liquids. see what happens. Okay, so we might have to add a little bit more salt. So again, this is just potassium carbonate. Looks like we're going to have to add more potassium carbonate. Now we can see the water starting to separate from the ethanol layer.
to add a little bit more salt. Okay, it should make the process speed up a little bit more. That way, you know, that our water has as much salt as it can possibly take. It will cause a separation to occur even faster. Separation starting to happen. So, as you can see, we have a separation here. We have our water layer on the bottom, which is clear and does contain our potassium carbonate. And then we have our dye up here with the ethanol, so it's staying in the ethanol 